Kamadi. Iwe iba ni wu kolo Kamadi. A quite when we saw I bring felicitations from Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, and all members of the Akisan family here. I'm making this presentation to update members of our community on the state of Akisan affairs and to inform them of key community events that have occurred in the immediate past and some that will be occurring in the near future and are highlighting their importance and the impact they create or will create on our communities, on our people, on the life of our brothers and sisters, those in the United States and those back at home. We want to thank the members of the Metro Detroit chapter for hosting us recently during the council meeting. During that weekend, filled with fruitful image building and impactful events and activities, we, among other things, donated over 100 cases of drinking water, made key decisions affecting our Kwaibom families both here in the, USA, in the USA and back home. It is our hope that at subsequent council meetings, we will have a community service component so that we can reach out to our immediate communities, to our neighbors, and let them know that there is an organization as great and responsive as Akisa. I also want to thank Council for approving a well thought out budget, highlights of which include allocations for a three site medical mission and a scholarship program that will benefit 15 to 30 young men and women in tertiary institution of learning in the Kwaibom State and also five youth at similar educational level in the United States of America. I'm also happy to inform the community that the efforts to provide medical equipment to St. Luke's Hospital has reached advanced stages. Right now, the shipment list had been received and reviewed by our Dr. Asukwa Yang and containerization has commenced. It is our hope also that the shipment should occur within the next week or two. During the weekend that we had the council meeting in Detroit, I selected Chicago as the venue for the next council meeting in support of their reunification and rebuilding efforts. Chicago has come a long way. We know um, the situation um, in Chicago uh, several months ago, and for them to mobilize a very strong contingent to attend the last council meeting is really impressive. So um, in, in an effort or an attempt to support them, I decided to take a Kwaibom community to Chicago during the next council meeting that we're going to have in May. By popular demand, we have also decided to keep the convention at Valley Forge Convention Center in the outskirts of Philadelphia. We are also going to ensure that we go back to the second weekend of August, which is traditionally the weekend that we have our conventions. Before yielding to popular demand, we had done this association due diligence by looking around and um, conducting a search, but unfortunately, we could not find any more appealing location. So we decided to um, pick Valley Forge Convention Center where we had the last convention. We are working very hard to create a Canadian chapter of Akisa. And one of the medical doctors that will be leading the teams to acquire bone for the medical mission, Dr. Emmanuel Udoyo, is championing that cause. In closing, I want to appeal 
for your continued support to our organization and our communities and by extension our state since what we do each and everything we do ultimately affects a quibum state the scholarship that we award goes to support the state government's effort in capacity building and also the medical projects go to support government efforts to ensure that citizens of Aquaibum are, are able to have access to valuable and affordable medical services. Brothers and sisters, I hope that God will guide us to build a formidable organization and I want to thank you for all the things that you have been doing for Kisan and Aquaibum State as a whole. Thank you very much.